This is Malika Dalamal, uh, London editor of Daily Candy. Um, I'm very, very happy that she's here with us today. Um, quite a nervous sort of interviewee, and I'm feeling nervous now. So um, we will go through kind of what we've talked about. I mean, you know that uh, in FBC, it's very much focused on business and um, but for every business, there's a story. Now, da Daily Candy is a fantastic story. It started at the turn of the century, you know, which makes it sound 100 years old, but it's 2000. And um, I'm going to hand the rest over to Malika, because Malika knows the story better than I do. Yeah. Um, OK, well, Daily Candy started back in March of 2000. Um, our founder, Danny Levy, had a journalistic background. She was a, a writer at The New Yorker and Lucky Magazine for a short while. And the idea really came about because she was very frustrated with long lead times on magazines. So she had all of this great content that she was finding in New York, and it was taking her three months to get it in front of her readers. So she kind of came up with this idea for an e-newsletter. And Daily Candy um, really was the first website to start sending out lifestyle-focused emails. So you know, she put together a list of her 700 of close friends, family, ex-colleagues, pretty much anyone she knew in New York, and started sending out these email blasts. Um, by the end of the first week, we had, she had 7,000 subscribers. So, and she didn't kind of publicize it. It all spread by word of mouth. It was very organic, and, and it just kind of grew and grew and grew from there. Kind so, of trend stuff. Yeah, it, the, the emails were very similar to what they are today. They, they really weren't very different. We had the same illustrator. It was, you know, the content was pretty much the same. It was one item per day. Um, so nothing, not too much has really changed. Was it her and us? Did she start it on her own or did she have a best friend or did they get together? No, was it just one person with a computer in an office? It was literally one person with a computer. She then started to hire people that a lot of them still work for the company. <laughs> Um, but she, she really did start it just on her own. <laughs> <laughs> with no money. Well, yeah, Actually, she, we were going to say um, her friends gave her money. I mean, so well, she, it was, it was self-financed. She put in some of her own money. She borrowed money from her parents. She had what she calls angel investors, who were people that just gave her money and really believed in her idea and really believed in her. So she started it. I mean, it was a pretty small budget. And um, if you fast forward three years to 2003, she then sold a controlling stake in the company to the pilot group, Bob Pittman of the pilot group, who are um, venture capitalists. Yeah. And then at the end of last year, we, they sold the company to Comcast. And then what did that get her? I mean, the sort of what happened to the business? Well, it just it grew. We expanded. She expanded to cities all over America. Um, we have 12 US cities that, she, that we cover and, uh, and London, of course. She started doing kids' editions. She just, it was just more kind of support for the business. She would hire more people. Same thing, but kind of just Yeah, and then, then I think the thing was that she found people to invest that really kind of believed in the brand and they didn't want to change it. They just loved what she was doing and wanted her to do more of it. Right. And the thing that I really love about Daily Candy is um, it's really simple. Yeah. You know, it's kind of, it's got illustrations and it has text. And, um, and, and that's kind of it, and you have a few links. And, but I do love the concept that you can't buy editorial, you can only buy advertising. And, yeah. and the editorial in Daily Candy is, you know, I have people that have been refused by Daily Candy a couple of times, <laughs> and um, probably sitting in this audience, I don't know. But, um, you know, it's, it's not easy to get in. It's not like you just send them a press release, and the press release goes onto the site. It's the sort yeah. of, so what are you looking for as an editor in Daily Candy? Well, what makes the grade? What makes the grade? Um, well, I think looking for stories, I mean, I get hundreds of email pictures a day. Um, I'd say about 5 to 10% of those make it into a Daily Candy story. Um, the rest of the stories I kind of find from just scouring the streets and being out and about and, and really sort of, you know, asking questions and asking far too many questions and, and that kind of thing. But, you know, there isn't really a special recipe that makes a Daily Candy story. It's different every day, and I think that's sort of the whole point of it. Mm. But things that I definitely look for are, um, it has to be... It has to be, we have to be first with the story. So if someone else has written about it before, it's had a lot of press, um, you know, we just won't cover it. It needs to be either new or undiscovered. Um, and we're, we're quite strict about that. Uh, if it's a product, it needs to be kind of clever and smart and, and beautifully designed. Um, but most importantly, it needs to be kind of relevant and applicable to our reader. You know, we can, I mean, I can spot a marketing gimmick a mile away. It needs to be, you know, something... <laughs> with something behind it. And your reader being like a sweet spot, sort of 29, 30. Yeah, we say our sweet spot is about 29. We're really writing to quite a specific person. We write to, to that person that everybody has in their circle of friends who, who likes to 
to know and share everything that's happening in their city, the kind of latest and greatest. You know, she's the person that you go to when you want ideas on where to eat and the coolest new boutique and you know what you should be wearing and, and, and you so know Courtney really. <laughs> 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 so we're writing to that kind of person. Yeah. Um, the sort of the, 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 the leader of the pack, but not only the leader yeah, of the pack. I mean, yeah, I do have yeah. a DC friend, and well, I remember when it first started off, and, and um, she kind of epitomized it because she would always, if I asked her where to eat, just if I was in, I don't know, W1, she'd say, oh, you need to try this, yeah. you need to try this, oh, and this one's wheat free, yeah. this is dairy free, this one does great juices. Is that, yeah. is that kind of like really yeah, interesting sort of... where you live? And fret, <laughs> and fret all the way. <laughs> Well, yeah, we're writing to the person that really likes to know everything. You know, she loves her city and, and she wants to kind of engage in it in a sort of stylish way and do new things. But how many subscribers are there in the UK? Um, the US, the UK edition has close to 100,000 subscribers 100,000. Now. So you're pushing that email out to 100,000 yeah. relevant. And very responsive people. We have a really responsive readership. And I think that's also because we've never, you know, our list has grown really organically, as I said. So everyone that's a subscriber sort of wants to be a subscriber. And they've, they've found it themselves and they're, they're interested in it. So we do, we have, I mean, the Daily Candy Spike, we, we are known to kind of, you know, things sell out and the phones ring off the hook and people's websites crash. The dichotomy around Comcast for me is that Comcast are, are hugely technical, you know, and um, these Daily Candy to me is just beautifully simple. I mean, it has technical, technical wisdom behind it, but it doesn't have the widgets. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't have the goal. It doesn't have a little mini TV. You don't click on, you don't see a mini interview. It's just really simple. So I'm just interested in, you know, what Comcast do you think are going to do with Daily Candy? Is it pretty set the way that you think well, it's going to be, or are you going to give us a little scoop? I mean, we have a great relationship with Comcast. They bought us because they really believe in the brand and they love Daily mm. Candy and they're huge fans. Um, there are, you know, we are working on new things, obviously, because we have, the, you know, we're owned, we're part of their web unit, which is Comcast, Comcast Interactive Media. So, you know, they've sort of started buying these smaller internet companies. And we, we are launching, we're relaunching our website at the end of, um, end of this year, beginning of next year. But it will still be very much the Daily Candy feel. It's going to be a kind of curated Daily Candy style city guide for each of the cities. So it'll have events and things to do, and it'll use our archive. Because at the moment, the website is basically just an archive of, of all our old stories. So this mm -hmm. will make it into more of a city guide, and it'll become kind of a destination website. So that's something that we're definitely launching next year. Um, we're going to launch a dedicated wedding site, which we, we did in the States already earlier this year. So we're going to do the UK edition of that. Um, and hopefully the video, we, we've started doing video on our, it alternates between the New York and the Everywhere edition. I don't know if anyone's seen it, but it's, it's just hilarious. It's, it's kind of the Daily Candy voice, but in a sort of visual little tiny video. It takes people further inside the story and it's very quirky and it's really fun. And we really hope to do that in London 